Welcome to Shelter in Place Superheroes. Uh, you guys might be able to see the other superheroes right now. Everyone wave hello. Yeah, we've got a lot of superheroes here today. Uh, and we actually have one new superhero. Uh, Teacher Tiffany, hi, how's it going? I'm great. Hi, superheroes at home. I'm Teacher Tiffany. Thanks so much for coming here today. Uh, Teacher Tiffany is going to be doing an art project later on. And if you guys or your parents could run and get just one piece of paper, right? Just one little piece of paper, that'd be awesome. Because uh, we're going to do something with that later today. Okay. Now, our theme song is Any Way You Feel, It's Okay. And our theme, theme song singer is not here today, so we're actually going to show a recording of the first time that he played this song for us. And we're going to start off with that before we get going. Here is Lucas singing Any Way You Feel. It's okay. And make sure that you sing along. Hey, everybody. How are you? My name is Teacher Lucas. And I want to sing a song for you, because these are some weird times and maybe we need some music. I know right now that maybe you're spending a lot of time with your family or the people that you live with. And for some of you, maybe it feels like too much contact with people. But for some of you, it might feel like you don't have enough contact with people. All of your friends are outside the doors. Well, people feel different ways about those things. and. Whether you like being around people a lot, or whether sometimes you need some time by yourself, any way you feel, it's okay. In fact, the name of the song I want to sing for you is Any Way You Feel, It's Okay. So, when I say, one, two, three, sing with me, I want you to say, any way you feel, it's okay. Let's try one time, okay? All right, here we go. One, two, three, sing with me. And when you feel, it's okay. Nice job. Let's try again. Now I'm going to sing you my song. Is that okay? All right. Okay. One, two, three, sing with me. Anyway you feel, it's okay. Sometimes you want to get out, scream and shout and play. Sometimes you just want to be all alone Off your phone and on your own When it's a warm and sunny day It makes me feel happy I want to go outside and get the sun on my face And just feel those rays But sometimes when it's a warm and sunny day I just want to stay inside and chill and read a book or listen to music and that's okay too you know sometimes my friends say hey I got a new dance do you want to see and I say yeah I want to see your new dance and then they say I want to boogie 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 turn around Jummy, 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 jummy up and down. I wanna higa, 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 chiki, 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 moo, 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 moo. Oh, we, oh, we, oh, we, oh, we, boogie, 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 turn around. Yeah. And I say, so cool. But sometimes my friends say, hey, I got a new dance. Do you wanna see? And I say, Maybe later if you don't mind. See, right now I just kind of want to be by myself. And they say, hey, that's cool too. Because, one, two, three, sing with me. Any way you feel, it's okay. Sometimes you want to get out, scream, shout, and play. But sometimes you just want to be on your own.
All righty. Thank you so much, Teacher Lucas. That was fantastic. And welcome, everybody, to Shelter in Place Superheroes. We are all superheroes right now because we're making a choice. Right, Vita? We're making a choice to stay inside. And that is protecting ourselves, and it's also protecting our community. And in our first episode, we talked about the feelings chart, right? We talked about sad feelings and tired, the blue zone over here. We talked about the red zone. What's the red zone, Vita? Oh. Super angry. You're wearing red today, so maybe that's how you feel, right? Uh, we talked about the yellow zone, like maybe a little surprised or scared, uh, just a little out of control. And then we talked about the green zone, right? That's uh, feeling happy, ready to learn. I'm wearing blue today because I'm a little tired. I'm wearing yellow because I'm a little excited, kind of the combination of the two. Vita made a new one in here. It's the rainbow zone. It's when you've got all the feelings, which I totally understand how she feels. I think a lot of people do right now. And just like Teacher Lucas said, any way you feel, it's okay. It's okay to be in the red zone. It's okay to be in the blue zone. It's okay to be in the yellow zone. But in the first few episodes, we talked about how we can get back to the green zone, right? How we can get back to that place where we feel happy and calm. And we also talked about how we can tell what other people are feeling, right? What we can notice about what other people are feeling. And the reason we want to get back to the green zone is so that we can make good choices, right? It's okay to not be in the green zone, but if you're making choices, it's best if you can be in the green zone. And why? Because we want to make choices that are good for us and good for others, okay? Good choices are choices that are good for us and good for others, yeah. And, and yeah, did you want to talk? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I made a choice this week. I made a choice. I don't know if you noticed, I, I, I cut my beard, right? I had a long beard last week. And I made this choice because I wanted to start wearing my mask, wearing my mask outside, because that's an extra way to be careful if I do have to go outside. And my beard was getting in the way. And that was a choice that I made that was good for me because I can keep myself safe with my mask and it was good for other people because I can keep other people safe, right? And what's a choice like that you made this week, Vita, that was good for yourself and good for other people? I helped clean my house. Oh yeah, that's right. On Sunday morning, you woke up and, and I, you, yeah. And I also, I also build these garden boxes so I can grow plants. That's right. We did all of that on Easter Sunday, right? We made a lot of good choices on Easter Sunday. Things that were good for us and good for other people. And so that's what today's episode is all about. Making choices that are good for us and good for other people, right? And we try to make those choices from the green zone. Right now, I want to check in with my friend, Jackie. Jackie, how are you doing today? Hi there. Today, I feel a little sad. Lucas is my best friend, and when he sings me songs, it always cheers me up. I'm not really sure how to get happy without my best friend around. Ah, he's not here today. Uh, Vita, do you think that there's a choice that you could make right now that would be good for you, but would also be good for Teacher Jackie to make her feel better? Yeah. What's that? I've got some jokes. You've got some jokes, all right. Teacher Jackie, would that make you feel better if, if uh, she told some jokes? I feel pretty sad, but Vita's jokes are very funny, so it might. It, it's true. I think we should try it. Uh, let's see. Uh, what do you think, Vita? What's your first joke for Teacher Jackie? Knock, knock. Who's there? Yellow. Yellow who? Yellow, nice to meet you. <laughs> Yellow. That's a pretty good one. All right. All right. What else you got for me? This one's kind of long. Okay, make, make sure you're nice and loud. Will you remember me in a second? Yeah. Will you remember me in a minute? Yeah. Will you remember me in an hour? Yeah. Will you remember me in a day? Of course. Will you remember me in a week? I think so. 
Oh, you remember me in math? Yeah. Will you remember me in a year? Absolutely. Will you remember me in a decade? Totally. Knock, knock. Who's there? You just forgot me. Oh. <laughs> oh, now that's a silly one. Thank you. That, that did feel good. All right. That's pretty awesome, Vita. All right. You got one more. Knock, knock. Who's there? Dragon. Dragon who? These jokes are dragging on and on. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that was good. That was a good way to end it. Thank you. Right, goodness. <laughs> Um, Teacher Jackie, I'm going to throw you a ball right now. It's actually an yeah. Easter egg. I'm going to throw you a ball, and maybe you can check in with someone else and see how they're doing. All right? You ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Uh, my friend, Timothy. Timothy, how are you doing? I have to unmute. Sorry. Hi, Jackie. Hi. 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 Ferd and I are feeling a little lonely. Oh, really? Why? Yeah. Well, we feel so isolated from our friends. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I have something that I think could help you. It's a choice I make when I feel a little sad, is to dance. And if I feel lonely, it can, I can see other people, and I can even dance with other people online. Do you think... You could dance with me right now? Well, I could try. That's the best you can do, is try. So let's check it out. This week, we're going to do a song about throwing a ball. But we're not going to throw a real ball. We can't go to the basketball court. We can't go to the soccer field. We're going to use our imagination to make a ball and pretend to throw it. Just like you can pretend to have a friend. <laughs> so let's check it out here. Dance with me. I'm going to go ahead and share the video so you can see the words and hear it. Let's check it out. It's called Throw the Ball. So everybody stand up, make some space around yourself, and get ready. All right, yeah, everybody, up, up, up. Make the space. Here we go, yes. All right, we're gonna get ready, run in place, and here we go. for you, Timothy. I feel so much better. I think I was blue and now I feel yellow. Oh, yay. I'm glad I helped you feel better. Thank you, Jackie, for choosing to invite me to dance. My body and my brain feel energized. All the feel-good chemicals are making me dance. And and I want to pass it on. How do I? I'll check in with my friends, Wallace and Courtney. Wallace and Courtney, how are you feeling today? Hi, Timothy. Thanks for asking. Wallace and I are doing okay today. It's a little rainy here and kind of cold and blue. And I'm feeling kind of blue. And Wallace isn't going outside and he's bored. So he's feeling pretty yellow. He's been jumping up on me this whole time. He doesn't want to sit still. Timothy, can you help us? What can we do? I understand. I know how you're feeling. Sometimes Ferd gets in the zone and I have to figure out why he's in the zone and what he wants. <coughs> Don't you, Ferd? <coughs> what zone are you in now? I think Ferd might be in the red zone. When Ferd's in the red zone, then I try to get him back in the green zone by tickling him. Well, how about tickle Ferd? <laughs> oh, oh, he doesn't want to be tickled. 
my empathy voice was wrong. I made the wrong choice. Let's see. I see with his eyes that he wants something, but I guessed wrong. Let's try smelling with his nose. Hey, I think Fern's hungry. Fern's always hungry. <laughs> and realize with my empathy that he might need a tree so he won't be hangry. Get it? Hangry? <laughs> Should I give Fur a treat, Dita? Mm, she says yes, but I'm thinking if I give Fur a treat, no, no, no. I might put him in his red zone, so I'm going to give him a carrot. A carrot is a treat. It's a very sweet vegetable. Here, Fern, here's your carrot. You like it? <laughs> hey, why don't you try giving the carrot to Wallace? That's a good idea. Thanks so much, Timothy and Ferd. We'll see what he thinks. I think we're already feeling a little bit better. He seems to like it. Pretty awesome. Well, geez, now that I'm feeling great, and Wallace is obviously pretty happy with this carrot, which I love this idea. It's healthy and nutritious. Thank you again. Uh, I've been thinking a lot about my good buddy, Travis, and wondering how he's doing, because I know it's hard, and we don't get to see each other very much anymore. So I wanted to check in. Uh, Teacher Travis, how are you doing? Hey, teacher Courtney. Yeah, I'm doing okay. You know, I see you, you know, with your, with your buddy Wallace. It's the uh, springtime is starting and it's now sunny in Los Angeles and I'm starting to come outside a lot more and I'm just a little, a little blue because I, I miss my dog. I used to have a, a, a German shepherd named Coco. And, um, now is the time we would go hiking together and, and she's not here anymore. So, you know, I'm feeling a little blue missing her, thinking about her. Is there anything maybe you could do to, you know, help me cheer up? Yeah, Travis, I'm so sorry. I know how much you loved Coco. Um, I know what you mean. Sometimes when I'm not with Wallace, I really miss him and a lot of my friends. And I've been thinking about ways to make me feel a little bit better when I'm not around the people and the animals that I love. And a couple of things that really helped me. One is to look at pictures that I have with Wallace when we're happy and when we're spending time together. And that really, really helps me. And then another thing is, I love to tell people stories, and I love to hear stories from my family and friends about times that Wallace spent with them that they thought were so funny or fun or crazy, and it really helps me feel better. And the same thing with all my friends out there, too. I have friends all over the world that I miss so much, and when I tell stories about them and remember them, it brings them back to life and brings them back into my heart. So I don't know, Travis, maybe that'll help you. I, I think I can do that. I have lots of pictures of Coco. I have pictures with my with my son, Teddy. He's not here today, but I have some pictures when he was a little baby with Coco. So I'll do that, Teacher Courtney. Thanks for that help. And that, that should make me feel better. Yeah, feel better. Awesome. Teacher Travis, now that you're feeling better, do you think that maybe there's someone that you want to check in with that, that you could cheer up? Mm, let's see. Hey, Teacher Jimmy. And Bella, how are you guys doing? Are you guys feeling good on this uh, nice spring warm day? Hey, Travis, thanks for asking. You know, we have been enjoying this shelter in place Zoom meeting, definitely, but sheltering in place day to day, we get pretty bored. We've been bored inside and you know, there's things around us, but we just kind of sit here and we don't pay attention. What would you do? Well, teacher Jimmy, I think, you know, I'll show you what I do and maybe you guys can try it and all the superheroes at home can try it too. You know, I'm sitting outside right now and we're talking about choices. Um, and there's some choices that we can make with some of the plants and animals that are outside. Sometimes it's easy to forget about those guys, right? You're, you're worried about yourself and you're worried about your family. Um, but there's other living things around, especially in springtime. You know, right now I'm sitting in front of my, um, my lemon tree and they finally is getting some lemons. These little guys are right here. I'll come a little closer in case you guys have never seen a lemon tree. You can see those little green balls right at the end, right at the ends of the leaves, right? It's kind of hidden. 
Uh, but th those are going to be uh, big lemons. Here, let me get a better one. There we go, right there. It's so tiny, it's the size of my fingernail, but it'll be a big lemon pretty soon. But I noticed that some of these leaves don't look very good. Some of these leaves have some holes and stuff in it. And as I walked around, I looked at my garden, Jimmy, and I said, wait a second, there's bugs and stuff everywhere. And that's what happens in springtime. So now it's time for a choice. So I came over here and I showed you guys these plants last week. And I'm gonna flip my camera around. As I was watering them and giving them good things to eat, I started noticing some of these yellow leaves. And you might have saw them last week too. And if you look behind the leaves, let me see if I can get behind and show you guys. Let me get a good one here. Oh, there we go, take a look. So this is a yellow leaf. Oh, it came right off. And you can see, look at those, see those little yellow guys on it right in the middle? They're not really moving very much. Those are aphids. Those are little insects called aphids. And I'll, and I'll zoom in, I took some more leaves off and you guys can see maybe a little bit clearer there. There they are. They got little black legs. This one has some, some that look kind of black. Um, but they're moving around. So I have a choice to make now, everyone, because when you plant a garden, you know, bugs can go and hurt the plants. And so a gardener has to take care of their plants and they have to make choices. So here's a choice that I can make, guys. These aphids are eating these leaves. And that's why they're turning yellow and falling off. So every gardener, you know, you might have some pesticides. So this is like a, it's called a, like a soap that you can spray on it and it'll kill the aphids pretty quick. Seems like a pretty good choice if I want to keep my plants alive, but what about the aphids, right? These guys are a living, a living thing, and some, some people uh, want to protect every living thing. Some people don't eat meat. Some people um, don't want any animals to be hurt. So what's another choice I can make? There's actually something else, guys, besides pesticides that might be a little nicer if you're into it. You guys know what animal that is? That's a ladybug right yeah. there. Late yeah, ladybugs. And ladybugs actually eat aphids. So another choice I can make, I could maybe find some ladybugs or buy some online and I could put them on my plant. And then the ladybugs can eat the aphids. And I don't have to use a pesticide, but the aphids still get eaten. So I don't know. I don't know what the choice is. But, you know, when you come outside and, you, and, and you're, you know, enjoying the weather um, and enjoying the springtime, just remember that there are other living things that you need to take care of and other living things that, you know, that depend on your choices. So no matter what you choose, just make sure you think and, and um, you know, no matter what we do, we'll keep our plants alive and we'll enjoy um, the lemons and all of the flowers and fruit that come from our plants. And hopefully that'll make us feel better. And it'll give you something to do, Jimmy uh, uh, and Bella. I hope you guys, uh, maybe if you have some plants you can take care of and uh, it'll give you some choices to make. Yeah, that's so cool, man. We don't have any aphids underneath ours. We looked, we've been noticing, but we do have a ladybug container that it's in. So maybe cool. that's the way all of the aphids. They might be scared. It's like a scarecrow, right? Yeah, maybe the, the yeah. ladybug uh, planter did it. So nice. Well, I hope, um, Bella, I hope there's no bugs get on that plant. Um, and if any do, you guys can make the choice on what you want to do to them. Thanks, Travis. That's really cool. That makes you feel better, huh? You can go outside and notice all the plants and bugs we have in our yard. That'll be fun. Well, hey, Bella, that makes us feel so good. Why don't we pay that forward? Maybe we can ask somebody else how they're doing. What do you think? Yeah. Well, we've got a new teacher today. How about Teacher Tiffany? How are you feeling today? Hi, Jamie. Hi, Bella. Um, I'm okay. I'm kind of in the yellow zone. I'm a little worried. I'm sheltering in place here in Mexico City, but all my family lives in California. So I worry about them pretty much every day. So I talk to them a lot. Mm, worried, huh? Well, Bella, maybe we can make a choice to help cheer up Tiffany so that she doesn't feel so worried. Do you think we can do that? What if we give her a choice of her own? So teacher Tiffany, would you like to see Bella jump on a trampoline with jellyfish or walk across the balance beam with crocodiles? Wow, both of those look so cool. Mm, maybe the trampoline and the jellyfish, that looks oh, awesome. Oh, let's go jump on a trampoline. All right, superheroes at home, you can jump with us. You can jump like I'm gonna do with no trampoline. This will get our blood going and maybe distract you from your worry. All right. First, let's jump, put your hands on your hips, like this. Make sure to keep your chest up and your head high. Now let's try open and close your legs. Open, close, open, close, open, close. Good job. 
You're not getting eaten by the jellyfish. How about we spin around? Jumping and spinning. Good job. Getting tired yet? Keep going. Now here's a hard one. Put your hands up front, then we're gonna touch our knees. Touch your knees. Oh my goodness. If that's hard, let's do it every three times. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good job. Good job, Bella. You didn't get eaten by the jellyfish. Come on. Let's go see how Tiffany feels now. Come on, Belly. Oh, that was pretty active, huh? How do you feel, Teacher Tiffany? <laughs> Thanks, Bella. Thanks, Jimmy. I, I actually feel a lot better. I think I'm kind of in the green zone. I feel like energized and, and also like calmer in my mind. So thank you. Lovely. My pleasure. Awesome, Teacher Tiffany, now that you're feeling better, maybe, maybe you wanna pay it forward and check in with someone else. Yes, I did. I really wanted to check in with Tutu. Tutu, we haven't spoken in a while. How are you doing? I'm feeling, I'm feeling sad and disappointment. I can't see my grandkids. I can't visit my sister. And I really miss all my students that I don't see in person anymore. But that was really kind and thoughtful for you to check in on me. I mean, Really, I appreciate that you wanted to check in. And yeah, it's just what's going on for me right now. Yeah, I'm sorry you're feeling sad. Well, I have something that we could do together. Um, we could try making a friend. We could try making a puppet together. What do you think? I'm ready. I'm up for that. Sounds like a good idea. OK, awesome. So. I'm going to introduce you guys all at home, Tutu and superheroes at home, to a friend of mine. Are you ready? Hey, Charlie. Can you come? Can you come meet everybody? He's a little shy. Hi, everybody. My name is Charlie Choices. I can help you make choices at home that are good for you and good for other people. Thanks, Charlie. I'm so glad you could meet everybody. So Charlie was showing me that you can make different choices at, that can help other people when they're feeling in the red zone or the blue zone or the yellow zone. Get to the green zone so that they can make good choices. It's okay how you feel no matter what zone you're in, but we know that we make the best choices when we're in the green zone. So all you need today, like we said at the beginning of, of the show, is a piece of printer paper or white construction paper. So I'll show you how to start. You're gonna hold your paper, hot dog style like this, and you're gonna fold it in thirds. So what that means is you're gonna take this bottom part and fold it about halfway up the page like this. So go ahead and do that. So your paper looks like this. And then you're going to flip it around and then again fold the bottom part up. And it's okay if it's not exact. That's totally fine. Nobody's perfect. See, you can see that my bottom part is folded up. It doesn't quite reach the top. That's okay. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to fold your paper in half to make a V. So go ahead and do that. You guys are going to make your own Charlie choices. So you should have a V. All right. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to make this V into an M. So you're gonna fold each side of the V down. So this side first, like this, and then the other side down. So here you go, guys. You have an M, but guess what? Do you see these little pockets inside here? If you put your hands, like you put your four fingers here into the top and your thumb in the bottom, this is the base of your puppet. All right, 
So I'm going to show you guys how you can decorate your puppet. Um, you're going to want to draw on his face or her face or its face. Um, I chose to draw some eyes and make a spot and I gave him a nose and some whiskers. Go crazy, make his eyes funny, any way you want. And another thing you can do is draw some ears and a tongue like this. They kind of look like two eggplants. And then you can color them in and then cut them out. So you have pieces like this. And then all you do is glue them on. So once you have your face, you can glue the ears onto each side. And then if you open his mouth, you just glue the tongue in there. So there you have it, guys. Hey, guys, I can't wait to see all my friends at home, my other Charlie choices, my twins, so that you guys can make great choices. Bye, everybody. Oh, that's awesome. Grandmother Tutu, did, did that make you feel better? That was perfect because it got my mind off of myself. I learned something simple and easy that was really fun. And now I have a new friend to talk to. Perfect. And do you want to pay it forward? Do you want to ask someone else how they're doing and see if yeah. you can make it for them? Because when I feel good, I also want to check in with other people, just like Teacher Tiffany did with me. So I'm wondering, Teacher Ariel, how are you doing? Hi, Grandmother Tutu. Thanks so much for asking. Um, I'm in the yellow zone, but not in a good way. Do you have any tips? Absolutely. You see, all the feelings that we have are really good, but sometimes it's even hard to notice, well, what am I feeling? You know, something happens and we have a reaction. But when we can slow down with our breath, we can have a different response and make more clear choices. So I wanted to show you, we've been all looking at these different feelings and trying to identify in ourselves, what are we really feeling, what's going on, but what else do we see here? There's all the white in the background and the white is like space. It's the space, the universe that holds the galaxy the planets, the sun, the moon, all the stars. So one of the tools I like to work with is to just gently, let's close the eyes together. And if that's not comfortable, just keep your gaze really low and you start noticing your breath. Again, in the last two weeks, we spoke about maybe running our thumb up and down each finger very slowly let your hands relax in your lap and just take a few deep breaths and when we settle our minds sometimes it's nice to just have a visual image too and today i'm feeling like i want to look at that big bright star that i see in the night sky it's so luminescent and I feel that star in my heart. It's bright and twinkly. We can go on a journey out into space, into the stars. And the truth is, the scientists know the elements that are in the stars are the same elements in our body. So we're connected. When I slow down, take some breaths. It helps my whole nervous system, my whole body feel grounded and at ease. And I feel the twinkling brightness of the star inside of me. And I move from the thinking thoughts down into my body. My body knows how to react and respond appropriately so that we know that when we just take a few breaths, if somebody says something to us that we don't like or does something, to just take a few breaths, remember that star, that shiny star deep in our heart. It helps us settle down so that we 
could make the choices that help not only ourselves but help everyone around us. Just one or two more breaths. And then, and then you hear the chimes. You can gently open your eyes. And the sound disappears into the vast universe. You can just notice we're in our room sitting peacefully and we can have a clearer mind to respond and make better choices. So teacher Ariel, was that helpful for you? Oh, definitely grandmother Tutu. I feel so much better. Thank you. Really, I'm gonna to try to make that choice next time I'm feeling in the yellow zone. But you know, I also wanna check in with somebody else. Vita, how are you feeling? Feeling bad today. Huh, why? Huh, she's in the red zone. Yeah. Oh, red zone? Hmm, well, try this horticultural therapy technique, okay? Remember, anything you feel, it's okay. And when you're feeling a red zone feeling, it's really intense, it can sometimes be hard to make those good choices, okay? So this activity is not going to get rid of your anger. It's just to give you a little bit of space from it. Because remember, you're not anger, and anger isn't you. It's just a temporary feeling that's going to pass, okay? So Vita, do you have any plants in your house that smell nice? I have lavender. <gasps> Cool, that's perfect. I have lavender too. Okay, so um, take a second, folks at home. If you have a plant that smells nice, you can go and grab that also. And we're gonna try something together. So first thing you wanna do is go ahead and say hello to your plant. Hi, little plant. You're looking lovely today. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take three deep breaths and smell the aroma of the plant. So you have two choices. You could either Put your face right up in there and smell. You might even smell some dirt too. Um, but maybe you don't really want to put your face in a plant or maybe you have allergies or, you know, you just don't like that idea. You can take your fingers and very gently rub the leaves and that will get all those wonderful oils on your finger without hurting the plant. And then you can just smell your hand, okay? So whichever one feels right for you, we're going to take three deep breaths and smell the beautiful lavender aroma. Okay, here we go. <sighs> One more. Mm. All right, wow. Vita, how are you feeling? Kind of now in the rainbow zone. <gasps> That's a great zone. All right. Wow. Great job. So next time you feel that way and superheroes out there, if you are ever feeling um, angry or a really intense feeling, you can just go and try to find a plant that you think smells good. It can be anything, even grass, and just try those three deep breaths. Good luck. Oh, that is perfect, Teacher Ariel. Thank you so much. And you know, I am now feeling in the green zone. I've got a green shirt on and I replaced my ducky hat with a dinosaur hat. So that totally worked for me as well. And thank you to all the superheroes who shared their superpowers today. We had music and animal sidekicks. We had puppetry and gardening movement and art. We had science and mindfulness. All of those are great superpowers and we practice our super glue superpower of empathy, right? That one is the one that allows us to make the best choices. Choices that are good for me and good for other people. That was wonderful. Thank you so much. Next week, we are going to talk about optimism, and it's going to be our last week. And we thank you guys so much for coming today. Right now is the community involvement section, which is our favorite part. If you guys want to come on screen and share your superpower or a great choice that you made this week or uh, anything that you want, uh, this is your opportunity to come on screen.